Okay, hey everyone, uh, welcome to my very first tutorial, um, the ocean, the calm ocean scene in Cinema 4D. So first thing we're going to do is create a floor, and we're going to copy that twice. So now we have three floor objects. Uh, just pop that a little bit here. Okay, so let's just pop them like this, floor one, floor two, Four, three, we've got three floor objects. This one at the bottom, we're just going to put a little bit underneath. And this one at the top, we're just going to put a little bit over the top. And now we have three layered floor objects. This is needed. So now we have our floor. Uh, we're going to have to texture it and light it. So to start, I'm just going to put a light down, just raise it up. So now we have a light. Maybe just add a sky really quick as well, just so that we. Uh, what we're doing. So now for the textures, all of these, you should have all of these uh, pre-made textures which should be uh, in Cinema 4D already. So you just go down here to the start button, load material preset, I'm going to start by getting the ocean. So we're going to go to Cinema 4D, materials, here misc, miscellaneous, across, and we have water lower layer and water upper layer. We need them both. So you just go back through, load material preset, Cinema 4D, materials, misc, uh, water upper. Oh, hello. Don't want to mess around with that. I'm just gonna leave that. Sorry about that. Um, so go across again, and here's the upper layer. So we have two layers for our water. Finally, we need the actual the animation layer so that the water is actually moving. I'm gonna come across here again to MoGraph, animated backgrounds. I'm just gonna slide down here until we come up to Stupor Water, right here. We'll click this. We now have our three layers. <clears throat> so obviously the upper layer goes on top. The lower layer we'll put underneath the upper layer. And then underneath that we're going to put our animated layer. So now we have our three layers uh, in place. Now the top layer is going to reflect the sky um, straight away. So we need a sky object to finish the look. It's very simple as you can see. So just going to go file. Uh, if you have a really good sky map, use that. I mean, there's up here. You can go to sky, create sky, and that creates a fantastic sky map which you can edit and stuff. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to come over here to Cinema 4D Materials Basic Sky. I'm just going to place that right on the sky. That was going to be a little bit of a strange like. Sorry about that. Very zoomed in, you know, very pixelated look. So I'm just going to change this to 25x and 50y. And as you can see, just wait for it to load a little bit. We have our ocean in place, and it looks gorgeous. Now it's not entirely finished yet. Just going to come down a little bit closer to the water's edge so that you can see what it looks like here up close. As you can see here, uh, the water looks absolutely gorgeous. It reflects the sky, it has this wonderful, wonderful rippling look, and it actually ripples as well thanks to this right here. Um, but there is a problem. Haha, <laughs> it's not quite finished. Um, and I'll show you what that problem is now. I'll just place a camera here so we can come back to this view. Uh, whenever we want. I'm going to look back up. I'm going to look right directly down onto the water. And oh my, can you see what's happening? <laughs> So you can see here this blotted look in the water around here, and that's because of the um, this layer here. You can see it through. There's a really quick and simple fix for this. We're simply just going to go to the lower layer texture that we have here. Just double click it. This is all the stuff to do with the lower layer. Here, the transparency, which means you can see through it. I'm just going to switch that off. So now it's not transparent anymore, which means that once we've rendered it, 
be able to clean it. So you can see here already, uh, it's not even finished. And uh, that blotted look is just completely gone. Um, you can't even see it, which is fantastic. So you can leave it like this, or you can edit, you know, these two, make them a bit more blue if you want a more bluer ocean, um, or leave them as they are to get kind of the, the look that we have already. And as you can see, a really lovely, very clear, fantastic looking ocean. Uh, which is animated. Fantastic, simple, easy to do. Excellent.